Over the last few years, Princess Cruises has introduced some new specialty restaurants. Today, we're taking to one of Princess Cruises' newest specialty restaurants. Bistro Sur la Mer is a French bistro with a modern twist. So how do you know if this specialty restaurant is one that you want to spend your money and time at? We're going to tell you everything you need to know to help you plan for your trip. All that and more coming right up. Let's start off with the atmosphere. Chef Emmanuel Ranant, who owns three Michelin star restaurants, has partnered with Princess Cruises to bring this French restaurant to the sea. It has a modern feel with large blue booths, a beautiful bar in the middle, and we love the detail even in the ceiling. We also like the detail with the brick and the bronze archways. It's not a large restaurant. You can either be seated between sort of the bar and the windows, which offers a nice intimate setting, or you can be seated near the piazza, which takes us into the location. On the Enchanted Princess, Bistro Sulemir was on deck seven, overlooking the piazza. It is a great location to take in the atmosphere of the live music and performances that are happening in the piazza. Princess Cruises has some great musicians and entertainers. The Piazza is a really fun place to check out whatever's happening in the evening. We saw a couple great acrobatics together. It was a little weird though how it was placed on deck 7 because often people would use it as a pass through to get from the front of the ship to the back of the ship. So I'm not really sure I would want to be at one of the tables that's overlooking the Piazza as people are walking right by you. And it gets very busy especially near show times. As we mentioned, Bistro Silamir is only on three princess cruise ships, the Enchanted Princess, Majestic Princess, and Sky Princess. So let's get into the menu, what everybody wants to know about, or at least it's my favorite part. The Bistro Silamir menu has a variety of authentic French dishes, including both land and sea options. And the menu is actually split into la mer, which is the sea, and la terre, which is the land. So you can easily see what you're choosing from. Also, please excuse my French pronunciation. I know I'm from Canada, but I really don't speak, speak French. Sorry about that. You also won't want to miss out on the dessert. They are beautiful and delicious. Our server could see I was having a hard time deciding, and so we actually got a few. Yep, that happened. The menu is written in French to go with the French theme, of course, but it does have some English and if you have any questions, just ask your servers. They're awesome and can totally help you out. So let's take a look at what we had. The meal starts with some fresh bread and a welcome plate which has goat cheese stuffed olives. It's interesting and fun to try new things, but I don't think I would be making those at home anytime soon. Splitting the menu into land and sea worked perfect for us. Aaron's not a fan of the sea, so he got all his dishes from the land and I took the opportunity and had all my dishes from the sea. So we had a good variety. For an appetizer, Aaron got the salad de saison, which is just a nice fresh salad. And I would have to say it was nothing compared to my appetizer, which was literally turning heads. I ordered the lobster bisque and it's served under a mountain of pastry and is opened up in front of you. The people at the table next to us said that they'd wish they'd order that and after seeing it, the table behind us, all six of them had ordered it. So if you're interested in lobster bisque, then you're definitely going to want to try that. Next I had the roasted scallops with garden vegetables and a lemon butter sauce. The scallops and the lemon butter was delicious, but I have to say I was a little disappointed in the veggies. They just reminded me of a bag of frozen veg we get at home. From the land, Aaron had the beef filet mignon, which was really nice and tender. For dessert, as I said, we could not decide, so our server let us try a few of them. And we got the soft meringue, which is just this delicious pillowy, marshmallowy, but even better. It was so good. Definitely my favorite. And a little bit too sweet for Aaron. He actually really enjoyed the chocolate tart, which is just nice and rich. Again, I'm all about the sweet. We also tried the chilled orange, lemon, and grapefruit jelly crumble, and that was just nice and refreshing. So if you're not feeling like something very heavy, that would be good. And those actually comes with beignets, which were amazing. They were so fresh and delicious. So our desserts, we had got to have it all. Rich chocolate, fresh fruity jello, and super sweet meringue. It was absolutely amazing. My favorite way to end a meal. In terms of value and price, your meal does include the welcome plate, appetizer, main, and apparently many desserts. So for all that, it costs 29 US dollars, and this is a new restaurant. I think it's really a good price for a specialty restaurant, as on many other cruise lines, they're charging upwards of $50 for a specialty restaurant. This is the same price Princess Cruises charges for Ground Grill, which is the steakhouse on board. 
In terms of discounts, Princess Cruises don't offer any dining packages. However, if you've booked the Premier package, you do get two free specialty restaurants, so make sure you book and use those. If you want to know more about the Princess Premier package, let us know in the comments below. We could definitely look into making a video to help you guys out with that. We do often get asked about dress code. Bistro Sailor Mirror will follow the same dress code for the main dining room. Many people do take this as an opportunity to dress up and have a bit of a special night. We do recommend having a reservation and we like to book those early before we sail to ensure we get the date and time that we want. You can do this on the website. This is a nice new restaurant with a fresh menu, which is great with people who've done a lot of cruises with Princess and are looking for something new. What do you think of the menu? Would you dine at Bistro Sailor Mirror? Do you think specialty restaurants are worth the extra cost? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in some more of our content, we have another channel, Flamingos in Wonderland, where we focus on Disney and theme parks. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video and support our channel. As we say, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again for watching and happy travels. Oh, it's served as a... Okay, <clears throat> I don't, I think I'll even just take that out. Okay.